All right, let's jump into 50 ear tests progressively getting harder as we go. We are now in the full major scale environment. Now I can start you on Do, Mi, So, or a high Do. For reference, starting on a Do, a Mi, a So, or a high Do, the octave. Every 10 examples, I'm going to be getting a little bit more difficult. At the beginning, for the first 10, I'm even going to let you know where we're starting. I'm never going to give you Do. I'll give you a chord, and then I'll give you your starting note. And like I said, for the first 10, I will confirm what that starting note is. When I do give you a high Do, I can't give you the low Do first, otherwise you're going to have Do as a reference point. So basically, if it sounds like Do and it's pretty high up, that is you starting on a high Do. It's a little bit subjective, but at the end of the day, as long as you hear that it's Do, that's great. So we're gonna get started. Here's your first chord, find your Do, and here's your first note happens to be starting on Do. Here's your first example. One more time. And the answer is Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, So. Next example. Here's your Do. Here's your starting note. It's high Do. You can hear it's a Do, hopefully, but if you can't hear it's a do, you can still hear that it's really high up. So we're starting up on the octave. It's gonna sound like this. One more time. And the answer is do, ti, la, so, fa, mi. Here's your next chord. Find your do. Here's your starting note. We're starting on mi. Here's the example. One more time. And the answer is Mi, Fa, So, La, So, Hi, Do. Here's your next chord. Find your Do. Here's your starting note. We're starting on So. It's going to sound like this. One more time. And the answer is So, La, Ti, Do, So, Fa, Mi. A bit of a tough jump back to the So, but again, if you sort of accent So, La, Ti, Do, So, really focus on that So. You can hear it's returning back to that same pitch. Let's go to your next chord. Here's your chord, find your Do. And here's your first note. We're starting on Do. It's gonna sound like this. One more time. The answer is Do, Mi, So, Do. Just a big D major chord. Let's continue on. Here's your Do. Here's your chord. You find the Do. And here's your first note. We're gonna be starting this one on high do. It's gonna sound like this. One more time. Okay, so now this time we're starting on that high do. What do we have? The answer is do, ti, do, la, so, mi. So it's basically a fancy do with a neighbor tone. Do, ti, do. We're finding our way to so with a neighbor. La, so. Down to mi. So we essentially have do, so, mi. Outlining our chord. Here's your next chord. Find your do. And here's your first note. We're starting on so. It's going to sound like this. One more time. And the answer is so, fa, mi, la, so, ti, do. Here we are with our next chord. Find your do. And here's your first note. Starting on just a regular do. It's going to sound like this. One more time. The answer is. Do, Mi, 
so la so t do next chord find your do we're going to be starting on do you hear it we're starting on me here's your example one more time Here we have, your answer is, Mi, Fa, So, Ti, Do, that leading tone pulling us up to our high Do. Here's your next chord, find your Do. Here's your first note, happens to be just a low, regular old Do. It's going to sound like this. One more time, a little slower. So you might hear that this one starts as a scale. The answer is Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, So, up to your high Do. That's our first 10 completed. For the next 10, I won't be confirming what your starting note is. I'll give you your chord, I'll give you a moment to find your Do, then I'll play you your starting note individually, and then I'll just go straight into the example. So I won't be confirming, we're starting on Mi, we're starting on So. That's up to you. Let's go for it. Here's your first chord. Find your Do. Here's your starting note. Sounds like this. One more time. Okay, the answer is So La Ti Do. So La Ti Do. We're just working up the top part of our major scale. Here's your next chord. Find your Do. Here's your starting note. Okay, it's gonna sound like this. One more time. Answer is, starting on a high Do, Do, Ti, La, So, Mi, Fa, Mi. Next example, here's your chord. Find your Do. Here's your starting note. It's gonna sound like this. One more time. And just so you know, like if you're a male singer, find the octave that works for you. It doesn't have to be necessarily matched in terms of the octave. So I've played it three times for you. Do you know what it is? It is Mi, Re, Do, up an octave. Do, Ti, Do. Tricky to hear, even harder to sing, but if you kept up with that one, very good job. That one was tough. We got this as your next chord. Find your Do. Here's your starting note. Here's the pattern. Okay, one more time. The answer is Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, La, So. Coming back down almost a full major scale. Here's your next chord. Find your Do. And here's your starting note. Here it is. One more time. The answer is so la so, neighbor tone to so, mi fa mi, neighbor tone to mi, do re do, the neighbor tone to do. We're back down to A major. Here's your chord, find your do, and here's your first note. It's gonna sound like this. One more time. The answer is so fa mi ti do. Here's your next chord. Find your do. Here's your starting note. It's gonna sound like this. One more time. Mm, a bit tough. We got some leaps. It's Easy, or it's simple, but it's not easy, we'll say. It's basically, starting on Mi, we had Mi, So, Do, Do. So all the chord tones, but just jumbled up. So we have Mi, So, Do, up to high Do. Here's your next chord. Find your Do. Here's your starting note. Pattern goes like this. One more time. Answer is 
so fa mi la so ti do. Quite jumbled, but maybe a bit easier than the last one. Who knows, everyone has their own strengths. Here's your chord, find your do. There's your starting note. It's gonna sound like this. One more time. Answer is do ti la so fa la so. Here's your chord, find your do. We're starting here. Here's your pattern. Very beautiful, try that again. The answer is mi fa so ti do so. We're into the next group of 10 where I'm gonna make the examples a little bit longer as a way of making them slightly more difficult. Here's your chord, find your do, and here's your starting note. Here's the pattern. One more time. The answer is so la ti do, so la ti do, mi fa so. The jump down to me might have been tough, but hearing that we're finishing at the same place that we started would have been a good way to reverse engineer that. Here's your next chord. Find your do. Here's your starting note. It's gonna sound like this. One more time. That very happy start is a classic do, la, so. So we're starting do, La, so, mi, fa, so, mi. There's your answer, here's your next chord. Find your do, here's your starting note. Do you know where we're starting? It's gonna sound like this. A bit tougher, here we go one more time. The answer is, do, mi, fa, mi, re, la, so. It might seem jumbled, but there's a method to the madness. We're starting on do. Mi, fa, mi is just a neighbor tone lingering around mi. It sounds like it's gonna go re, do, but it's re. You wanna hear that it could go to do, but it doesn't. A neighbor beside our so pulling down to so. So again, we're anchored around these chord tones and thinking about the relationship of the example I'm giving to those chord tones. Here's your next chord, find your do, and here's your starting note. Here's the example. One more time. Answer is, so, la, so, fa, mi, so, mi. A bit of a jump, you might have heard fa, mi at the end, we have a bit of a jump there, so watch out for that. Here's your next chord, find your do, and Here's your starting note. You can probably tell where we're starting. It's gonna sound like this. One more time. So now we have, the answer is, do, so, mi, fa, so, re, do. What might have caught you there is the re, do ending. A lot of people would hear mi, do over time, put a lot of emphasis into hearing that exact resolution, is it a re do or a mi do ending? Again, that's what I was saying before about steps and skips, they get easier to hear over time, but that's one spot that catches a lot of people. The re do versus mi do, also do re mi versus the do mi so chord skips, that catches a lot of people too, so watch out for that. We got another five of these longer examples. Here's your chord, find your do, and here's your first note. Okay, it's gonna sound like this. One more time. The answer is mi, re, do, so, fa, mi, la, so. Here's your next chord. Find your do. Here's where we're starting. It's gonna sound like this. One more time. Do you hear the sequence? We're starting on low do, we have do, re, mi, then a little bit higher up, 
re mi fa then a little bit higher up mi fa so so each time we're a little bit higher up than where we started the first time and then a high do to finish do re mi re mi fa mi fa so do next chord find your do and here's your starting note it's going to sound like this one more time What we have is so la ti do mi fa so. Here's your next chord. Find your do, and here's your starting note. Here's your pattern. One more time. The answer is mi re do so so do do. Stuck within the pentascale, but it's good to mix things up. Here's your next chord. Find your Do. And here's your first note. Okay, it's gonna sound like this. One more time. Now it sounds pretty high up to start. You might have even thought that it was starting on high Do. But as soon as I'm moving higher, well, it can't be high Do because that's where we're capped off in the exercise. So as you might have guessed, we're starting on so. It's so la ti do, and then down the chord, so mi do. We're down to the last 20 examples. Things are about to get more tough. Now what I'm gonna be doing is creating longer examples that are a little bit leapier. I wanna keep things melodic, so I won't go a lot leapier, but you'll see more fourths, fifths, and skips, and there should be at least one of those in every example. I'm not just gonna do a bunch of steps. So we're starting on this chord here, find your do, and this is your first note. It's gonna sound like this. Okay, bit of a shorter example, but still leapier, a little bit tougher. A little bit tough we have. Mi, la, so, re, mi. So again, all chord tone bass. We're mi, la, so, finding our way to so. Re, mi, finding our way to mi. Here's your next chord, find your do. And here's your starting note. It's gonna sound like this. One more time. The answer is so, do, mi, fa, so, mi. Here's your next chord. Find your do. Here's your starting note. It's gonna sound like this. One more time. Almost sounds like it's from like Forrest Gump or something. This one is, here's your answer. Do, ti, do, so, mi, fa, so. Very much stuck around chord tones again. Here's your next chord. Find your do, and here's your first note. It's gonna sound like this. One more time. A bit longer, a bit leapier, a bit tougher. Your answer is Do, Mi, So, La, So, Mi, Do, up to a high Do. It kind of has that hokey pokey major sixth, the La. Right, it's kind of like hokey pokey old western music. I think of La as just innately very happy. Maybe the second happiest solfege syllable outside of Mi. Here's your next chord. Find your Do, and here's your first note. Here's the pattern. One more time. Okay, the answer is so, ti, do, la, so, fa, mi. So we have so, ti pulls up to do, la pulls down to so, fa pulls down to mi. We're hearing where all these little pieces of scrap metal are moving in towards these magnets that they're being attracted to. That's just a little analogy that I like to use when I'm thinking of unresolved sounds moving to chord tones. A few more. Here's your chord, find your do, and we're starting on. It's gonna sound like this. Slower. Answer is so, 
re, mi, do, la, so. Next chord, find your do, here's your first note. It's gonna sound like this. Almost joy to the world. Actually, I didn't add any leaps, so let's put at the very end. One more time. So our answer is Do, Ti, La, So, Fa, Mi, Re, and then Mi, Do. A little skip at the end. Here's your next chord. Find your Do, and here's your starting note. Here's your pattern. One more time. This one is pretty tough. The answer is so, la, do, mi, re, mi. That jump from do down to mi can be difficult, so make sure that when you're practicing your intervals, any type of descending sixth is very much worth practicing because it catches a lot of people. Here's your next chord. Find your do. Here's your starting note. It's gonna sound like this. One more time. Answer is mi, fa, mi, do, so, do. Here's your chord, find your do. Here's your starting note. Here's the pattern. One more time. Answer is so, la, ti, so, do, so, fa, mi. Next chord sounds like this. Find your do, and here's your starting note. It's gonna sound like this. One more time. Answer is so, mi, fa, so, re, mi, do. Here's your next chord. Find your do. Here's your first note. It's gonna sound like this. One more time. The answer is Do, So, Mi, Fa, So, Mi. Fa was the only one snuck in there as a non chord tone. So if that felt tough, make sure you're practicing just your basic arpeggios. If, if you're a singer or if you want to get better at this stuff, just the Do, Mi, So, Do, and really working out how those tonal pillars feel. Here's your next chord. Find your Do, and here's your starting note. It's going to sound like this. One more time. The answer is Do, Re, Do, Fa, Mi, La, So. Here's your next chord. Find your Do, and here's your starting note. Here's the pattern. One more time. The answer is Do, La, So, Ti, Do, La, So. Very much stuck in the top part of the scale. Here's your next chord. Find your Do, and here's your starting note. It's gonna sound like this. One more time. The answer is So, Mi, Do, Re, Mi, La, So. We've got another 10 to go, so now I'm going to go longer, leapier, and we're going to finish these ones unresolved. So I'll finish on Re, Fa, La, or Ti, and I'll try to really mix it up. Here's your first chord, find your Do, here's your first note. It's going to sound like this. One more time. The answer is Mi, Fa, So, Mi, to a high Do, down to T. If we just subtract out that final T, listen to it. You can very much hear that high resolution to the Do. Then we're tucked just below it down to that leading tone, T. Here's your next chord. Find your Do, and here's your starting note. Here's the pattern. One more time. 
Answer is mi, re, do, la, so, mi, re. Do wants to go do. We didn't, fin we didn't finish there. We got our next chord here. Find your do, and here is your starting note. It's gonna sound like this. One more time. The answer is so la so mi do re. Again, a couple finishing on re. Here we go with your next chord. Find your do, and here's your starting note. It's gonna sound like this. One more time. The answer is mi re do mi fa so la. It wants to go back to that so, but we didn't let it. Here's your next one. Here's your chord. Find your do. And here's your first note. It's gonna sound like this. This one's quite a bit tougher, I think. And we can hear at the end, it wants to go and just pull itself up. So it's likely finishing on T. So let's reverse engineer. If you caught that it starts on so, we have so, do, so, do, la, T. So you wanna hear so, do, so, do, la, so, but it's so, do, so, do, la, T. And even there, you're wanting to hear it pull up to the do, which it does not. We got five more to go. Here's your chord, find your do, and here's your first note. It's gonna sound like this. One more time. Might be easy, might be tough, that one's kind of a mix. We have high do, do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, la. You might have heard that it was starting like a descending major scale, it gets cut short, but the question is, where does it resolve? Eventually, you'll hear that la is very bright, very major, so for me, I wanna hear that resolution to so. But it's lingering on la, we're feeling that tension in a good way. Here's your next chord, find your do, and here's your first note. Here's the pattern. Very tense, here we go. The answer is so la so fa mi fa. And again, fa on a major chord. Very tense, so watch out for that one. Here's your chord, find your do, and here's your first note. It's gonna sound like this. One more time. This one's tough. We've got so la ti do fa mi re. That jump from do down to fa. Ooh. So la ti do fa mi re. Finishing on that re. That was a tough one. Then we have this as your next chord. Find your do. Here's your first note. It's gonna sound like this. One more time. Sounds like the beginning of the Trailer Park Boys theme song. <laughs> if you've seen that show, that's interesting. So we have Do, Mi, So, Do, T. Just a big old chord going from Do up to Do and pulling down to T. Here's your last example. I'll make this one a bit exceptionally tough. Here's your chord. And we're starting on. It's gonna sound like this. One more time. So here we had so, ti, do, la, so, do, re. Finishing on that re. Re of the options would be my favorite to finish on. I love finishing on the second or the ninth. Ti, I also really like finishing on. La, I like finishing on a bit. Fa, not as much, especially like in a major environment, we're talking just major. So you can prioritize these color tones or unresolved sounds as you wish, but just to give you some insight, that's how I view them in order of priority. I hope that you enjoyed that. I hope it challenged you. Please feel free to re-review this class as many times as you need to to start to build some confidence. You can go through each section individually as you grow through the levels. And remember, 
power of repetition is what this course is all about. So there's no harm in going back and doing this over and over and over and pausing as you need. I will see you in the next class.